We've all heard that dogs have an amazing sense of smell, something along the lines of 10,000 times more powerful than the human nose. And we've even heard some stories of dogs being able to smell diseases like cancer. But are there humans out there who can do the same thing, like smell diseases? That's what we're talking about on this week's Wednesday Checkup. It's true, dog noses are actually amazing in how well they can smell. That's why I've always been puzzled as to why dogs run to smell each other's butts when they're meeting each other. Gotta be kind of gross. In reality, there's a percentage of the human population who do have a heightened sense of smell. We call this percentage of the population super smellers. The medical term for being able to smell really well is called hyperosmia. And while one may think that it's pretty cool to be able to have a heightened sense of smell. It actually can be considered a medical disorder for which people seek treatment. It can happen as a result of a genetic disorder, hormonal imbalance, or even a medication side effect. It wasn't until recently though, that we in the medical community have realized that there's an untapped potential of these human super smellers that we can be using for medical research. In fact, today I'm gonna to be covering a very unique case of a grandmother from Scotland who has the ability to smell Parkinson's disease on human skin. For those of you who may not know, Parkinson's disease is a progressive degenerative neurological movement disorder. And don't let all those words scare you, it's quite simple, let me explain. Progressive means as time goes on it gets worse. Degenerative means there's actually damage being done. Neurological means we're affecting the central nervous system, AKA the brain. And movement disorder describes a type of symptoms we generally see with Parkinson's. Now this disorder affects 10 million people worldwide. And it usually happens above the age of 50, but up to 4% of cases happen earlier than that. The scariest part, we don't have a cure. In fact, we don't even really have a test to diagnose Parkinson's disease. The most common symptoms that we see with Parkinson's are those affecting movement. Think tremors, shaking, difficulty with swallowing, speaking, or even walking. Two of the most widely known individuals diagnosed with Parkinson's disease are Muhammad Ali and Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Fox actually established a foundation for the disorder and has raised millions of dollars to try and find a cure. Let's talk about this very unique grandmother and nurse from Scotland, Joy Milne, who is able to smell Parkinson's disease on human skin. It's crazy even saying it right now. I, I can't believe that I'm saying it. It is true, and how she found out it is truly an incredible and unique story. When her husband, Les, was about 30 years of age, she noticed that his body odor changed, his scent changed, it became more muskier. And while she did mention it to him a few times, they sort of brushed it off. She didn't want to keep complaining about it, so she just left it as is. Fast forwarding 10 years later, her husband was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease and attended Parkinson's disease group meetings. During one of those meetings that Joy attended, she realized that every patient in there who had the disorder smelled exactly like her husband. And it sparked something in her mind that perhaps there's a connection between this musky scent and the disorder. After a period of time, they attended a research convention where one of the leading researchers on the disorder was making a presentation. Afterwards, Joy Milne raised her hand and asked the question if there's a connection between scent and Parkinson's. This confused the researcher, Tilo Kunat, because he wasn't sure if she was talking about the fact that some patients who have Parkinson's lose the ability to smell. Upon clarifying her point and saying that she believes there's a connection between the scent of a human and the disorder, he was completely puzzled and actually intrigued. Afterwards, Kunith wanted to put Joy's sense of smell to the test. So he gathered 12 participants, six who were diagnosed with Parkinson's, six who were not. And he had them wear a t-shirt for a period of 24 hours. Afterwards, he let Joy smell those t-shirts. Guess what happened? Out of the six that had Parkinson's disease, she correctly identified them. Of the six who did not have Parkinson's disease, she said one of them was positive. At the moment, they thought she was wrong. However, eight months later, it turns out that person was now diagnosed with Parkinson's as well. I mean, how incredible is her nose? Once her talents were verified, scientists sat down and tried to brainstorm what was the best way to make use of Joy's talent. They decided to create a research experiment to identify the molecules that Joy's nose was picking up when she was correctly identifying the scent of Parkinson's. When they tested 60 individuals, 43 of which had Parkinson's, they were able to isolate four specific compounds that were present in different 
different levels when the Parkinson's scent was present. Three of those compounds actually increased and one of them decreased. So now that we have all this information, where do we go from here? Well, the idea is to catch Parkinson's disease early because currently the way we diagnose it is through symptoms. And once symptoms have occurred, that means a damage has already occurred. If we're able to diagnose Parkinson's earlier, we're able to study the disease more accurately. Now, if we can find certain points where we can insert a medication or another treatment to modify the progression of this disease, that could be a major breakthrough in Parkinson's research. What's even more amazing is that Parkinson's is not the only disease that Joy Milne can smell. She states that cancer, Alzheimer's, even liver disease all have unique smells. I don't think anywhere in the near future we're gonna have individuals who are super smellers running around hospitals trying to diagnose certain diseases early. What I do think can happen is we can use the abilities of these super smellers to identify which diseases have unique scents and therefore create certain screening tests where we're able to screen the general population and catch these diseases early so that we can intervene. I wanna give a huge thank you to the Mill family to their contributions to Parkinson's research. And I'm gonna drop some links down below in the description box for further reading. And if you'd like to donate to the Michael J. Fox Foundation, who interestingly enough, awarded grant funding to the research that Milne was associated with. I've also been tempted to make a series diving into the complexities of different organs in our body, maybe starting with the nose. If you'd like to see that, drop it down below in the comments. And I put together a playlist for you that I know you're absolutely gonna enjoy. Click here, and as always, stay happy and healthy.